friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm sure you can hear it in my voice, but I have just been a little under the weather. I put it on my community tab, but I don't think a lot of you can see that. So sorry if I have been gone and you didn't know that I was gone or you didn't know the reason. But to getting into today's video, I wanted to show you, I wanted to focus on today stocking up on a budget and what we did this week to do that and what we do during the winter time to do that because oftentimes I am focusing on my garden and preserving everything that we possibly can. So this week, my goal, my chair is moving, sorry. Uh, my goal was to shop the sales and put something away, meaning I wanted to home can it. I wanted to put it in the freezer. I wanted to dehydrate it. And that was my one simple goal besides stocking up on a budget. So I went ahead and focused on some of those items and that really made my decision on where I was going uh, for grocery stores this week. And I ended up going to Kroger. If you are new here, hi, hello, my name is Tori. I make prepping videos on a budget. We upload three to four times a week and I try and teach you how to go about preparedness, self-sufficiency, homesteading, gardening, homeschooling, you know, whatever you resonate with, maybe you do all of those things. I try and teach you to do it on a budget, but I also want you to be positive because this community can get a lot of negativity and it's just been a little bit ridiculous lately. So I wanted to show you this grocery haul with an open mind. I wanted to show you that we still buy process items, although I preach about how terrible they are for you. We still oftentimes buy unorganic things just because we can't afford the healthy items and I feel like all of us are at this struggle so I was trying to be real with you in today's video we are gonna go back in time to when I actually filmed this but today's video is meant to be encouraging it is supposed to encourage you to prep on a budget always try and take an extra five or ten dollars every time you go to the grocery store and stock up on some shelf stable items some items that you can throw in the freezer some items that you can bring home to can like I did this week or just some items that you can have on a range any day. We prep for every single emergency that you could possibly think of and I feel like it's important to have extra food and I think a lot of people do this. They just don't want to admit that they are prepared. So I'm new to the term prepper. I'd say I've been calling myself that for two years and that was basically so I could find my people. And since I have found such a positive community here, I'm going to continue to use that term. So without further ado, let's just get right into this video. You will see a grocery haul. You will see some ways that I like to to use items to its fullest is what I like to say and I know a lot of you don't like waste just like me so I'm hoping these tips are encouraging and of course I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments let me know what you do to save money every single week because it is a struggle it is a struggle especially for the time that we are in now and you know we're a family of five we're a small family and it's just been very tricky to budget lately it's been very tricky to pinch pennies and I feel like we can all connect with that so let's get into the video. Alrighty, here is our little haul and I feel like it's little, but man, did it cost a lot like we keep talking about. So <laughs> we got coconut water for adrenal cocktails. We got some chocolate chunks for some chocolate chip cookies. We got some Uncle Matt's Ultimate Immune because you've heard it in my voice for our adrenal cocktails. One sweet potato, although I ordered two, I have to check back on my receipt because this is probably not going to cut it for the week, but we shall make it work. We have some organic milk, we have some organic mandarin oranges, some Teton waters, kielbasa, we have some Kerrygold butter and some cucumber, English cucumber. The mission chips were on sale for $1.50, so I got two for my husband. We have some blackberries and some medium cheddar. I have some blueberries and walnuts for salad. I've just been loving walnuts. We have caramel and sea salt dark chocolate and then regular dark chocolate. These were on sale for 40% off of $3.29. So normally I wouldn't buy this, but I was excited to find it on sale. We have some thin sliced organic whole wheat bread, and we have some Happy Tot Superfoods uh, little bars for Amelia. There's sunflower butter, bananas, strawberries, and there's a few other things in there, but just a nice thing for her to teethe on. And then we have some bananas and a DiGiorno pizza. We have some large brown cage-free organic eggs and some organic 
organic pears. We have some regular cottage cheese because I'm going to try and make my husband queso, like a protein-rich queso, with these two things and Rotel. We shall see if he likes it. And then we have my cottage cheese, the good culture. That's my favorite. Family-sized grass-fed uh, beef jerky for just some 30 grams of protein in the morning. And then these farm riches were on sale. Not loving the ingredients, but it is what it is. You know, I wanted something to fill the freezer up just for easy nights. So I'm sure there would have been something out there a little uh, better with ingredients, but you know, we're just going to go with it. And then this might surprise you, but I did get the dye free children's Motrin. So it's um, ibuprofen just in case you never know. Um, and I just think it will help with pain. We're not in the business of reducing fevers, but pain, uh, we have that. And I feel like it's important just to have it on hand in case of anything going wrong. So I'm going to get this put away here and I will catch up with you in a second. And I hope this is helpful. I hope this shows you that we are very, very 80-20. I would even go as far as 70-30 with our journey uh, on food and prepping. And I hope this shows you that inflation is very real. I've had a lot of inflation deniers and my goodness, it is out of control. You can blame whoever you want, but at the end of the day, we still all have to deal with it. So shopping like this has gotten us through shopping our sales and just utilizing those coupons when we can and giving ourselves some grace because man, we are all so hard on ourselves and I feel like it's important to just have some more positivity. Okay. And then this is what we got for our little prepper pantry. I wanted to spend under $10. This was under seven with sales and coupons. So pretty excited about that. I wanted to work on just an easy way that you can stock up. If you want to see a guide, something like that, I can try and work on that for you. Of course, I won't um, price it too high. I probably won't even price it, but just something to type out that you can maybe hang up on your refrigerator. Uh, and then each week you spend five to $10 and you can stock up. But I will link my video that kind of goes into detail. Oh, is she all right? I have a sad baby. Hold on one sec. She is happy. She has blueberries. But what I was saying is I will link my video that kind of explains into detail how to go about prepping on a budget. And then I will try and type something up uh, that you can hang on your fridge if you want to see something. Like that. If not, it's cool. Saves me time and uh, you know, you can prep the way that you want to. But we got some sauerkraut, of course. We have some refried pinto beans. We have two organic Amy soups and then we have a tomato sauce. This was just solely based off of my five rule. I went down there. I saw what items that we have that aren't in rows of five. So we had three Amy soups. So I got two more. We had four refried beans. So I got one more and so on. You get it. But sometimes I like to go through there. There's a about, uh, I'd say 10 to 20 staple items down there. Uh, yeah, probably, probably more so on the higher side, like 20 staple items down there that we keep in groups of five that we pull from because we do have a rotational prepper pantry. And then our long-term food storage, you know, we just continue to add to that. We don't really take much from it. So yeah, I wanted to show you my little prepper pantry stockpile as well as our groceries. And then also, I forgot to mention in my last video, I mentioned that I like to can oranges, and I think I misspoke. I like to can cuties, but you can do it with oranges. Uh, Mandarin oranges, organic, don't really go on sale too much, but these were $1.50 off of $4.49, so that's pretty good. Uh, at first, I was concerned that I would have to add a ton of sugar, and I wasn't okay with that. So you need to really balance your acidity levels and sugar to get a proper canning when you're watching water bath canning everything. It's uh, considered to be rebel canning. So if you uh, don't feel confidence in that, please don't follow this. But I used honey instead of white sugar and they canned perfectly fine. We enjoyed some and it was tasty. So yes, these are the uh, oranges or mandarin oranges that I like to can. I have a growler over here, but I did want to point that out. If you find fruit on sale and you're able to preserve it in a way of canning or freeze driving drying that is a great way to just stock up <laughs> stock up on the cheap and get things to be a little bit more shelf stable so i hope that's a helpful tip
And then I have another tip, and this may be a no-brainer for some of you. You've probably been doing this for years, but I save all of our citrus peels, so grapefruit, lemon, oranges, and limes if we have them. And I put them in a 32-ounce mason jar, and I put a little vinegar in there, and that is an all-purpose cleaner. I let it sit for about a week or two. Uh, there are so many conflicting opinions on that. I do it for a week or two. Give it a shake, strain it out, and it can be an all-purpose cleaner. And during the winter season, you may have seen that I use our Christmas tree and I put that pine in distilled vinegar and we use that as an all-purpose cleaner. I like to use that in the bathroom though so it depends you know but I just wanted to give you another option to save and utilize something to its fullest. Another way we've been saving is just getting whole chickens. The organic uh, free range chickens are usually on sale for under $10 if I have my coupon. And we just go ahead and grab some. We eat the chicken. We just smoked a chicken. That was delicious uh, with the smoker, the A smoker. I don't know if you remember me doing that review. But anyways, uh, after we're done with that, we get the bones and the skin. We put it in here with some water, spices, maybe some onion and veggie scraps. And then we have our broth for the week. So another way to utilize something to its fullest. I've given some of these tips before, but these are the ones that we've been consistently sticking with and it's been so helpful. So let us know some of your favorite ways to save and use things to its fullest potential in the comments below. I'd love to know. And then most of our scraps go back to the chickens. So I will try and get as much as I can off of that and then I have just an ongoing like bag here and we just give everything back to them I try and crush up the eggs but uh, I have to get some of these scraps off as well so that's been really helpful for them I'm sorry I'm in just a clean frenzy right now so <laughs> that is why everything's a mess all right, friends, and the last thing we stocked up on this week is some whiskey. We have had the Lexington Town Branch before, and my husband, of course, likes to sip on it, but I like to make different tinctures with it, and I'm going to make some vanilla with this just so we have it for some gifts, and we're going to go from there. So you can uh, make tinctures with a lot of different things. Uh, you really have to look into it, but some herbs and flowers really... Uh, you know, like whiskey a little bit more than vodka. So sometimes we go that route. It just depends. And then I got another shipment of my vitamins in just in case one of these goes out. And typically the mushroom immunity goes out this season, at this time of the season, just because it's kind of like nature's day quill. It just really gets you through the sick season and it's immune boosting. It has three different kinds of mushrooms in here and it's amazing. So I just went ahead and placed another order. If you buy three, you get 25% off plus my additional code. I will leave them linked in the description box, but I also got some beef liver and I also got some chlorella. I don't know if I'm saying that properly, but I've been loving this. You can work your way up to it and it just has so many amazing benefits. I encourage everyone to try this one if you're a little afraid of these two, although this is a little stinky. Uh, the mushroom immunity, you really can't taste and it's amazing for you. So supplements and uh, medicinal needs are right here. You can do a lot with alcohol in your prepper pantry. I suggest you look into it. You can barter with it. You can, yeah, do a lot. So check out uh, some 100 proof vodka, some good quality alcohol and go from there. <laughs> Okay, friends, I'm going to end my video here. I hope these tips were encouraging and I hope this gave you a real glimpse into our grocery hauls. If you're not on the other channel, you probably have been missing out on our grocery hauls. But again, we like to shop the sales. We like to shop, you know, what we actually enjoy and we like to shop on the cheap. So if you're in the same boat as me, again, leave those tips down in the comments below. There are many people new to this budgeting lifestyle. I always say if I was a millionaire, I'd probably probably still shop this way, but I would focus on better ingredients. So the goal is to keep the processed foods out of our kitchen, but as you saw in that haul, we still buy it and it's okay to do that. I feel like everyone needs to give themselves some grace when it comes to this mental prepping journey. So again, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment box below. I want to hear from all of you. So if you are new here, I'd love it if you introduced yourself, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'm hoping to get better with my sickness this week. I'm really Really focusing on nourishing foods, getting outside in the sun. And I am taking those mushroom supplements and it has been helping, but when you are a depleted mom, sometimes you just can't take care of yourself and your immune health suffers. So that is where we are at on this journey. As always, stay adventurous, stay creative. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye y'all.